All right, well, first of all, congratulations. How does it feel to have your first official UFC win? Oh, it feels nice. It feels nice to uh, get a first round sub for my debut. And uh, it, the submission just kind of found me and it was, it was smooth. Is this kind of how you pictured the fight going or did you think it was going to go a different way? In the back of my head, yes, because I, I knew that, especially in his previous fight, he kind of gave his neck up pretty easily. And instead of going for it, being overly persistent, I think I was just smooth and just sunk it in like an anaconda. And I know that you had your Contender Series fight here, and so having your USC debut here kind of maybe felt the same, or did it, did it feel different knowing this was a, a legitimate UFC fight? Nah, it all feels the same. It's just business coming in here. Uh, it, I didn't feel any which way about it. Do you feel like you won't really feel, I don't want to say legitimate, that's not the right word, but that your debut isn't quite a debut until you have a, a you know a, a, an arena full of fans? Is it going to feel different then? I'm really looking forward to that arena experience. Uh, this, this one did feel the most real. I feel like my Dana White Contender Series fight was like, now I'm in the dance, you know, like that got me to the dance and I didn't really feel like I was in the UFC, even though I was a contracted fighter. It wasn't until, for me personally, it just wasn't, it wasn't until I won my debut that I like really felt like I'm in here. Can you walk me through that finish? Yeah, it was pretty simple. I think uh, <clears throat> I was just passing his guard. He gave me his back, and I sunk in that body triangle pretty quickly. And <clears throat> sooner or later, he gave me his neck. I was really patient about it, and I knew that once I had it, I, I had it. As soon as I went all the way through with it, I was almost, I felt like I was going to finish him with one arm. I was pretty deep with it. Were you surprised he was able to get out of that first kind of hold you had a little bit earlier in the round? No, it was, I, I wasn't able to lock in the triangle that well, and I was just applying that arm bar pressure just to get him moving. Then I switched over to the omoplata sweep, got right on top, like pretty, uh, pretty securely started passing. And you seem like a pretty confident fighter. You have a, a confident personality. Has that al have you always had that personality, or do you feel like um, through training and that's how you were able to get your confidence? Uh... Who knows? I don't think, you know, who, who's really to say, but uh, countless beatings, you know. I've been in the game, and I've been in this for a little while, and I just, I just am the way I am. I think a lot of people recently have been talking about my demeanor and this confidence that I have, and I think that's cool. It's cool that people think that, you know, but uh, I'm just me, and uh, yeah. And I didn't get to hear your post-fight, so I apologize if you already answered this question. But who would you like next, and do you have a, a date in mind? Uh, <clears throat> I think I want to call out Steven Ersig. He, uh, he kind of got, got screwed by the immigration, or not the immigration, the, he got screwed with uh, getting his visa for the Dana White Contender Series. I was supposed to fight him to for the contender and and then so he, and then his last fight he was all calling me out all cute he was like <laughs> he was just like oh i'm clayton and uh it was hilarious so i loved it and i'm down to fucking roll him up and smoke him thank you yeah just one stupid one for me i noticed you had the shades on for the way in and we got the shades here tonight is that going to be the look for you when you do these media things uh who knows you know i kind of these bright lights, you know, they're kind of in my shit. So I kind of—it's nice to just like have something so I can see all you guys, see what you, see what you guys are up to. Hey, Clayton, uh, what's it like training at the lab with all? I mean, that's that's a pretty stacked gym you have over there. I love it. I love the lab. Uh, the the best thing about it cannot be described by words. You know, it's a it's a feeling. It's it's the vibe that's set. The way that Benson really leads that whole crew, we got a bad group of killers. And to be there in the mix with it, constantly evolving, 
evolving in ways that I didn't really see myself evolving. In it's really just uh, it's it's really just a beautiful place. It's a beautiful place, and I love being there every day. Thank you.